In my previous video, I showed how I installed this plug and play micro inverter system. It feeds solar energy back into the power grid, saving me money on my power bill. However, these panels are just laying on the ground, which make them accumulate dirt. And they're not at the optimal tilt angle as well. And to address this, I picked up this pair of solar panel mounting brackets. These brackets came as a set of two. Let's see if they will support my two 425 watt solar panels. I bought these brackets from Amazon Germany for $50. I've seen the same set for $100 in the US. I think the price here is cheaper because of the competition for mounting balcony solar systems. Or does it have to do with the tariffs? Let me know what you think. I'll include a link to the set in the video description. Let's mount the brackets to the side of the shed and see how they will perform. The installation is now complete. It took two people about three hours to set up. The panels are not going anywhere. One of the best features of these brackets is their adjustability, allowing me to set the optimal tilt angle for these panels. Using my solar tilt angle calculator, I've determined that the ideal angle for summer is 22 degrees. I will use a simple app, basically a compass that measures the tilt, to set the panels as close as possible to the desired tilt angle. In the winter, when the sun is lower in the sky, I should increase the tilt angle to 75 degrees. I can leave them fixed at the year-round angle recommended by my calculator as well. I received a few comments on the previous video about the meter not being able to go backwards. Whether your meter can turn backwards depends on your specific energy supplier and the type of meter you have installed. Every situation is unique, so you should contact your energy supplier to confirm if feeding energy back into the grid is possible for your setup. Even if your meter does spin backwards, the power company needs to agree to compensate you for the energy you're sending back into the grid. Additionally, you should verify the feed-in tariff rates. Ideally, it's a one-to-one -one exchange, but in most cases, the compensation rate is significantly lower. I'll put the link to the brackets in the description. And YouTube thinks you will like this video next. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.